Good evening, guys, or good afternoon, depending on where you are located at the global, at the you know the planet Earth, the the globe. So here we are today, people, for the for the solar eclipse, the new moon solar eclipse in Pisces. It is what I like to say. So I read a, quite a bit for it, and uh, from astrological point of view, because you know I'm not astrologer, and it seems that. It is all about new beginnings and endings in our life. However, what the astrologer writes there, oh hello Amy, is that the the endings are about to start are about to happen in the fields where we feel the most lose. In other words, where hello hello Lori, where we feel insecure. And that kind of makes sense, people, because, you know, I like to explore these events from a, a tarot point of view. And solar eclipse in Pisces in tarot, guys. Now, the, the moon card represents Pisces. It doesn't represent moon. It, it represents Pisces. And then the sun, it's the sun card, obviously. So the sun conjuncts the moon card. And... If I didn't knew that uh, from astrological points of view, it endings in beginnings, I would not speak that to you. But it kind of makes sense here, because suddenly when the solar eclipse happens, and for what I understand, it carries the energy for six months. So these endings and new beginnings, they will happen in, in an extended period of time for six months. It seems that you will become aware of your surroundings. You will become aware of how the things works for you. But most importantly, people, you will become aware that there are multiple paths for what the destination you are going for. For example, you are going for a happy, happy relationship. There are multiple paths, which means multiple peoples. And therefore, one relationship can end, so another can start. Or multiple paths to be, um, you know, productive in your job, to be successful in your career field, and there we go, one job ends while you realize that there is another place where you can, you know, be more successful at. So these kind of endings and beginnings are about to happen in our lives. So for that purpose, people, I have chosen carefully a, a spread for, uh, it is three card spread and uh, it is very gentle one. I will explain you why. So the first card goes of what is ending in our lives, not where it's going to end, not in your relationship or in your career, the endings will happen, but what, like an attitude, like like behavior, um, like, a, like a goal that we have, like something that helps us in these kind of stuff. So that will make us more aware of where we can expect it. The second card comes as what new will start growing or what is the new beginning for us after we experience the ending and this could be also a good or a negative ending very interesting spread by the way because for example you have the the position what is ending and it instantly reverses the positivity and the negativity of tarot cards for example if you have the the two of cups there well that means that the love is ending you know or if you have the sun there, that means that the productiveness is ending, the, the natural unfoldment and thing, of, of things is ending, and so you got to you got to go search your happiness somewhere else. So it's it's very interesting spread, and I I tried it, and it gives great results. So without further say, guys, let's start with Paris, and hello to everyone. To, to everybody who is here with me tonight, I do love you guys, and uh, you're awesome, just awesome. So, one more thing, after the solar eclipse ends, the energy of the solar eclipse ends, you will be much, much more aware of where you are heading. You will be in a state where you will know how your future unfolds into a very troublesome particular field in your in your life so now if you do have a field in your life that you're feeling extremely insecure in for example relationship field career field family field financial field after the energy of the solar eclipse passes for what the tarot card tells me there with that conjunction is that you will not be feeling insecure in these fields anymore so that is actually a, a good thing thank you Laurie
So now, let's give a good ripple shuffle, guys, and go strictly directly to Aries. I will see the three cards first, so I can I can analyze what is going to happen. Oh yeah, by the way, the third card is what we can do. Um, in order to prepare ourselves for the change that is coming. So, for Aries, guys, the change, Six of Wands, and what we said about this, I mean, the ending here is the Six of Wands. The most, Aries, a, a help that you're expecting from different sides, from third party, is going to end. Why? I cannot say that to you. Perhaps you will become much more stronger and you will not need that help. The, ne the necessity for you to ask help from others is going to end. Most likely, you'll start searching personal recognition in different fields that you're, than you're searching it right now, which again may speak for changing in one career or changing in one relationship. Different ways so you can shine in front of others. So that is a big wake-up call of where you can be productive, guys, and how you can present yourself as really one is. So you have to really think about where you're feeling miserable, where the people doesn't ch cherish you enough. It could be in your social circle, for example. You could be, you know, repressed in your social circle in a term that no one is listening to your opinion, no one is accepting you as equal, and it is because they are not accepting you as, you, as, as one is. So here, with that solar eclipse, you will search for that feel of, of, you know, of appreciation of people, that feel of expansion and of how you will shine brighter than anybody else with your own light rather than with the light of others. And so it is what's going to happen here with the, with the second card that shows what will be the new beginning for you guys. And the new beginning will be marked with a very pleasant emotions. It's like the fortune is just behind your back clearing the path forward for you, especially if we're talking for, for your career, whatever ends there, whatever project ends, even job, the next one will be very, very satisfied. The things that you are given from your particular career, if your career ends here, they will happen with these. It's because you will know what you are doing there. No one will get in your in your way of how you are doing, of how you are doing your job. And extreme satisfaction, and even even a, a furthering one's career in the term of, of promoting yourself, it is very possible. This thing here, the, the Nine of Cups, will present you with an opportunity to satisfy yourself even more, re realizing that uh, this happiness you will have at the end of the solar eclipse is just a, a small taste of what you can really have in the future, making you very cocky, making you someone who, who really knows what one wants and where happiness lies. Same thing for relationship, guys. If you realize that one relationship, because here one relationship could be completely based on, on passion and physical attraction, and you realize that you it's a feelings you want to experience, the next one, people, is going to give you a, a big satisfaction of what you will feel toward the partner, toward your partner, and what your partner is going to feel toward you. So you can expect only positivity to happen after the ending. It's complete. It's, the initial ending is complete. Only positivity is going to happen in your life in a term of that you will feel like you are blessed to be, you know, get rid of that burden you have experienced till now. And so what you can do in order to uh, prepare yourself, this card, the King of Wands, guys, as, a, um, as a, an attitude speaks that you first and above everything else, you got to be with positive attitude. Second of all, you have to experience and enjoy life as life is. Don't no, don't feel envy into someone. Don't feel jealousy. Don't try to have something that you does not you it does not belong to you. Don't try to compete with others. Try try to initiate your own ideals, not ideas, but ideals. So it's about you following your idol of what you want to be in the future. Through it, your ideas will be executed extremely well because with this card, it seems that you will be capable of transforming your ideas into a very powerful drive and very powerful actions. So 
you will be able to force that change very swiftly and even if it comes to a painful ending you will barely notice it because the newness that is come after that will will kind of lay a, a waves of satisfaction above you at ease so that eclipse will bring you a really really happy times uh, card guys probably after I'm done with the all the star signs with the readings I may draw a couple of cards for people three cards four cards it depends because it's really late here and um, I don't know how much time, you know, after the after I'm done with the four star signs. So stay tuned and probably you will be chosen after I'm done. Oh Gemini comes right after Taurus, which now is Taurus summer. So Taurus. That is really good, guys. That is really good. So, Taurus ending, Five of Swords, the humiliation Taurus may feel from others toward them, the, the, the ruthlessness, the rude behavior is going to an end. Fantastic, eh, Taurus? Um, you being misused, someone that, it's the people that are abusing their power over you, this is coming to an end, Taurus. As the same thing comes to your behavior toward others, it seems that you will start to feel more warmth toward the people that are caring for you. You will feel more, more attachment to those that really benefit to, to, your, to those who really um, gives you benefits and to those who really cares for you. So it's about you realizing how much value you have around yourself. But above everything else, it seems that misplaced trust that you're giving into people that will come to an end so you will be very careful from now on where you're placing your trust at to whom you're placing your trust and this will this will shield you from attacks from other people it will kind of select your social environment it will select the next person you want to be in relationship with and will make him suit will make him her or then suitable for your needs if we're talking about relationships. If we're talking about career again, I'm, I'm, I told you that this ruthless behavior from, from your bosses, from your supervisors, from the people around you trying to really smother you and make you feel like you are not worthy of being there is going to an end within the next, within the next six months, as we said. So what is going to start is the Page of Cups people so it is this is the new start for you what is what is new for you is replacing the a certain position where you are right now for some that could be a a new lover as well who is pisces cancer or scorpio or it has these ascendant signs guys but a shift in your emotions is going to happen here people you will want to make more attachments to others you will want to start um, meeting with people that has that have that emotional connections with you so it's not going to be only on a physical level anymore it's about emotional level guys from now on and you will not really care what their past is how well they perform into the material world into the physical world how wealthy they are it's just it, what will matter what it, what they feel and what what will matter for you people it is how they treat you with what with what they treat you and they will treat you very well they will treat you with warmth on a grand scheme of things this card shows that for you will happen a self-assessment self-re-evaluation finding a new places for yourself to express yourself creatively here and also a something grand will start shaping for you at the start it will be very vague in the term of that you will not you will not figure out from where it happens or toward, toward what ends it's happening however the more does the more that things uh, stick around you the more you will become aware how much benefit you have from it and you will start working toward it with a particular plan this will be the newness that happens so what you can do so you can be prepared for this one 
save your emotions for those who deserve them it is the only thing i can say looking about that card the king of pants the king of cups so it's all about emotional shift for you taurus here the way i see it because you are no longer feeling the <clears throat> feeling the pressure the tension from the environment around you you are finally open to show how much to show your love toward the world your love toward the people you are spending time with, toward your partner, toward your family, and you will very carefully will start choosing to whom you are, share, uh, you are sharing your emotions, with who you are sharing your emotions. Uh, the judgment will be very balanced, and it seems that this will win you a, um, a status as a very mature person, someone very respected person, very responsible in the same time person. So you can expect from that solar eclipse that the um, the opinion of others towards you, Taurus, will shift toward a, a better end. The next star sign. Guys, guys, I will draw cards for uh, several people when... Um, when I'm done with all of, uh, star signs, really, people, that, that really distracts me when I see in the, in the comment about asking for cards. There will be a cards, guys. There will be a cards for some of you. I mean, I can't pick everybody, but some people will have a cards. I will announce. Oh, good morning, Emma. How is it in New Zealand? Is it rainy? Um, I had a co-worker once who she wanted to go to New Zealand. And she said that it's very rainy there. It rains almost every day. Well, that's okay, Evelyn. That's okay. Okay, so Gemini, guys. That will be a tough reading for Gemini, not that the cards are bad guys, but it's just the um, connection. So, Gemini ending, magician. So, Gemini, it seems that uh, your creative activity will end in the particular place you are. This card highly, highly suggests that you are about to change your job people, or at least the field you are doing a fabulous work. So this is what is going to come to an end. Also, your approach toward, um, <clears throat> toward your deeds is going to change. It seems that right now, from that solar eclipse moving forward, you will not rely that much on the support of others. You will not rely that much on this, that you, sh that you need to have followers, people who support and stand behind your back in order to execute your own ideas, in order to do what wants to be done. Also, it seems that your communication skills are about to shift. Probably you will become much more laconic. And for the people who doesn't know what laconic is, uh, it, it, goes, uh, it comes from the Spartan province Lacalunia, I think, or what Laconia, it was said. And it means that you are pretty straightforward. Someone asks you something, you say yes, you say no without giving explanations. This is what laconic means. So, this is what will shift for you. Your, your en uh, empathizement with others, probably you become, uh, you become much more hard uh, toward people and you will become much more in a, in a saving mode for your efforts, for your help toward other people. So, it seems that a, a major shift is coming, guys, for how you react upon the environment around you. Also, it seems that I have finalization of a particular deeds that are indestructible for you are going to come. Or, I will place it with another word. Whatever you finalize within the six months, it will be indestructible. This is what it seems from the magician. So no one can take it away from you. You got, you got married, no one can take away your husband or your wife. You get a, a good job, no one, uh, unless you do that, can take away your job or this kind of stuff. So this is, this is the major shift for you people. And just because you finalize these indestructible things, this is what will force change into your behavior because you will not need to rely much on other people. And what will start there, what will be the new beginning shows the Six of Pentacles, 
and that speaks for climbing into the ladder of the hierarchy. I love when this card falls in that place. Promotions, uh, sitting on a high horse, being in a high places, uh, looking people from a top. These kind of stuff are going to start for you guys. But the most important thing is your mindset. This is what is going to start clinging inside your mind that no matter how much help you want, no matter how much help you give, first, if it is given from a, a pure heart without having a presumption, without having a, um, a conditions behind it, it means so much more to the universe that you can ever imagine. And second, even if you do give help, sometimes help is not enough. You have to leave, leave the subject to do the things on their own. So mainly, you will start, again, relying much more on oneself than on other people. It will depend you much more. It, it will make you much more independable if you want to say independable from your relationship, independable for, from the links and chains into your career, which again speaks that you will probably start working on a singular project or with singularity. What I mean is that people will not be there to obstruct your work, to, to get in between you and your supervisors. Very positive card falling into this. Also for some which needs a particular boost, this is what is going to happen, okay? So finalization, it could be, when I'm seeing these cards right now, guys, it could be that um, you will be approved for something and you will be given a go, even though you don't feel the criteria in order to do so. This is what these cards, are. if someone comes to me with uh, that particular question, I'm going, am I going to be approved and I draw this card, I would say that to him. I mean, the, you may not qualify by the book, but still you are going to be given a goal. So it could be this is that is going to happen for the most of you, Gemini. Same goes for a relationship. You know, you, you may not fit with the acceptance of the partner um, that you want to be with, but still the partner that you want to be with is going to give you a goal. So <clears throat> how you can prepare yourself for that change? Be brave, guys. Experiment. Have a risk. Do something extraordinary. Do something crazy. And as we, as we talked about help, you will prepare through help. But after the preparations are done and everything shifts for you, Gemini, you will no longer need help. <clears throat> you have to present yourself also in front of the world with this card, guys, as there's someone very playful, as there's someone enterprising, someone who is ready to everything new, someone who is not afraid to try, and this is what will make you prepared for the change that is yet to come. Yeah, yeah, Michael, let's see about cancer now. Lisa, I'm sorry for your situation. If you want to listen to Aries, Lisa, uh, and you have missed it because Aries goes first, after the live, the video will be also released here or in my YouTube channel, so you can listen to Aries after that. If you want to know particular for your situation, you may want to stick uh, here in the live because at the end, I will choose several, several people who are asking questions and we'll draw them a card and we'll answer to their questions. So that is one way to get an answer from me. Okay, so guys, cancer. No wonder why the uh, March video, I mean the March reading is the same thing. Okay, so I will try to be as gentle as possible. What ends for you guys? Ten of Cups. This speaks for itself really. Now with the Ten of Cups it seems that the primal happiness, something that really creates a home environment, a pleasant environment, makes you feel happy, makes you feel untouchable, is unfortunately coming to an end, people. So that could be a very stable job. It could be a very harmonious relationship. But it could be something minor, 
okay it, it depends on the personal situation for everybody however it is it seems that you will not accept it very very lightly and it seems that you will have you will experience pain for it this is what I can say to you I'm, I'm sorry but I can't sugarcoat it that this is what it seems oh my god okay so even for some for a couple of weeks maybe a month they will well they will basically use a, a sense of life what I mean is that they will lose stimul, uh, stimulation they will use it they will lose enthusiasm to, to live fully in world it was just it will just be a matter of surviving for them it will be just a matter of day by day living for day by day you know what I mean and that really sucks guys that that really really sucks however what will come up from all of this what will be the new beginning here is the strength card so the strength card guys this this particular ending it, it it's obvious that it's gonna make you stronger but it's gonna make you patient so you patiently are gonna wait until that that time passes over what I can say this card does not show up what will be the beginning because probably the beginning lies beyond this period of time that the solar eclipse takes time this solar eclipse for you is a, a test it does seem a test to test your patience to test your calmness and to test how much you deserve what is coming but the strength generally guys it promises something great furthermore if you are capable to endure this stressful time so I will try to explain you the strength card more metaphorically I have read in one of the books and they are explaining the strength in this way now uh, that uh, you do have a mountain in front of you and uh, you just cannot bypass it you have to climb it and so you're climbing that mountain which it's, it's a trouble for everybody it's difficulty and you get exhausted the fatigue came really into you I you don't know really why you're doing it but at the end when you reach the very top of the mountain suddenly you realize that everything worth it okay everything that you have done that climb worth it because the vista forward is something beautiful it is something very promising and on top of that you realize at, when at the start of the of the very bottom of the mountain you did have doubt in yourself that you will be able to climb it you will be surprised you will be surprised that you will you you were able to climb it okay and that speaks for overcoming extreme difficulties making you stronger and after that it seems that you will be in not just in peace but you will really really know where your interest lies you will be not be able to be fooled by universe and by destiny itself with these fairy tales you may experience at this very moment but it does seem as a tough time guys so yeah how you can prepare yourself for that hard time and this card really speaks for itself now we have the seven of swords you gotta take everything that it is owned to you. Someone stole your heart, you gotta take it back. Someone stole your money, someone owns your money, you gotta take them back. It's about standing standing for one right. It is about conquering a right now situation by creating storm into them just because you can people. And a certain preparation of preventing losses has to be made as well. So right now you can make something you can do something to prevent a particular losses but you need to have a keen mind for it also something else that is a mandatory here guys is do not lead a, a foreign wars do not follow foreign agendas it is only way that you will pass with more ease through that uh, through that stressful period of time for that period of turmoil what it seems is that uh, you cancer think only for yourself and for your own well-being it seems selfish but it's, it's your choice at the end some people would name it selfish I would name it survival guys so
Yajin, something like this. It's it's a really tough combination to be explained, really. But <clears throat> the more you struggle, the less suffering you experience. This is through the analyzation in between the strength and the ten of cups through the method called elemental dignities. So the more you focus on the challenges ahead, the less painful the loss will be. Just remember that, Cancer. The less painful the joy, uh, the, the loss will be. I'm not getting into this analysis of the cards because it will take like five, six hours to make all the readings. So, but, but generally, I'm telling you, with you know, most, I would say, laconic way, what is uh, waiting for you? I mean, according to my tarot cards. Hello, jo Joanna. How are you today? Okay, the next one is Leo. Oh, oh I just want to show you the cards, guys. I just want to show you the cards. Ending, new beginning, approach. Awesome, eh, Leo? Okay, so... <laughs> What will end in your life, Leo? This is a um, concept, an old concept that does not serve any favor of yours. So you may expect to open your eyes so wide that every option available in front of you will be like like a mother's dream for their child. You know what I mean? So suddenly as you are stuck into this routine, as you see no way up, just no way up, when the solar eclipse hits, suddenly you will realize that there is no way out because you said that to yourself, okay? You just obstructed yourself to make the progress you need, guys. And suddenly you will realize how much options available you do have in front of yourself. A little brother for the car, for the conjunction of the sun card and the moon card, a little brother here, guys. So you may reach to a brilliant solutions. You may reach to a, a a brilliant understanding of one relationship. You may reach to a a very very important decisions that needs to be made that will have a great benefit for you. But generally, this speaks that this card will open your eyes. This ending, guys. So whatever it ends. It will create joy and satisfaction in you. And it is not just leaving of a burden, okay? It is like curing your, your blindness. Imagine that. It is like you have been blind till now. And when the solar eclipse hits you, Leo, you are suddenly seeing from now on. You know that nothing is written by the book. And you can change whatever it is coming in your way. So... <clears throat> What will be the new thing that is coming, guys? This is the star card. So, first thing first, the new thing that is coming, this is support. Unexpected support from other people. Unexpected unfolding love from, from people around you that you thought that right now they do not care for you. Or it could be a... <clears throat> or it could be that you may meet new people that will experience and make you experience unfolding love. A justified long-term hope is going to take place in your life. So that speaks for a long-term deep goal, a devotion for yourself that you will put a, a lot of effort. But whatever it is, you, you should know that that will go for a very, very long run, guys. It will go for a very, very long run. And especially if this is a relationship, I can't even explain you that, how, how lovely that relationship will be. It will be full of love, compassion, support, um, it, with, with um, solidarity. People will do, the two people inside it will start doing compromises. Why? Because they're happy. Because they're happy, because they saw what they lost. In the past, they saw what they have been through, and right now they are finding themselves into a very, into a very good place with a, a lot of um, no opportunities. I'm searching for the word, guys, um, with a lot of room to expand. Okay, so it's it has a, a lot of um, 
yeah, it's a, a, with a lot of room to grow. I knew that it is on my fun people, but I can't find the word right now. So, what you need to do here to prepare yourself, you need to take away, swipe away your shyness, start making contact with people, start expressing your love, start searching for team experience, start searching for union, for reunion if you want to say it that way, but definitely shyness is not going to help you guys. If you are talking about, if we are talking about your career here, people, try to surround yourself with guys and girls, I mean co-workers that are making you happy feeling, happy feeling love. In one, in one career place. If we're talking about relationship, try to make a flow of emotions. Try to, try to show to your partner how much that relationship uh, means for you. Virgo is just, just around the corner heater. Um, and try to show them that no matter the distance in between you two guys, you can always make contact with them. It is like a, um, a uh, emotional bond rather than a uh, physical bond. Okay, after, after Leo we go to Virgo. Thank you, Issa. Hi, partner. How are you tonight? Or this afternoon, should I say? Okay, very good cards for Virgo as well. So, what is coming? Yeah, Aries always go first, Patricia. Shame, eh? But it is how the star signs are, al are aligned in the books. Anyway, Virgo, what is coming to an end in your life, guys? Your patience. Um, your singularity as well. It seems that from from now on you have to give you you have to start explaining yourself why you are doing this and that, which which can speak that you may fall under someone's wing. You may start learning new things. I mean, a new qualification, new education, some of these kind of stuff. But what will end apart from the patience is um, the acceptance of yours that you don't deserve success. So here, why it comes, the the new the well, the solar eclipse hits you, and you Virgo say, "Wow, am I am I cursed or something? Do I not deserve anything?" So here we're seeing you starting to do something about your personal success, and suddenly you will understand that it is not as hard as you thought it is, okay? It does not require as much as you thought it requires, so it is also a, a matter of bravery. You will become much more braver, uh, brave than before, and with this, it seems that you, Virgo, are about to start doing things you never done before, just so you uh, know whatever comes to an end, it comes to an end for good, which means that it it is not coming anymore. So if this is a relationship of yours, probably will be a relationship who does not make you happy. You are in that relationship for the relationship itself and through patience you are able to persevere through now. But right now it is time to give it an end, to put an end on it, on it and move on, move on forward because that relationship most likely guys it made you miserable and it gives you and it gave you nothing but troubles. If it is if it is in your career, it's not that grim. It seems that your career is not gonna end. It's just it's gone. It's gonna end your status in your career. It just seems that right now with this card, you will have much more vigor to take on challenges. It would, you will have much more aggression to take on challenges and uh, desire to take on challenges, which will make you. Um, someone who shines bright, who make you someone uh, who is very active in the job, and uh, this will be spotted from people that needs to know. This you will not be left unrecognized. You will not be left unseen. And then we are having the the star card dies. This is what is going to happen for you. And as we said about Leo, 
something big is nagging right now, shaping for you. If it is in your career, that could be a, a long-term project, a long-term, you know, um, a long-term task that will bind you with contracts, whatever it is, it will make your um, place into your career sound and stable and secure. If it is a new job, it seems that you do really have what to take from that job. You have a room to expand, you have a room to climb um, on the top of the hierarchy there, and that will give you great hope, great enthusiasm. Also, support from other people will come, but, on, but above everything else, it will come um, you will start experiencing more warm feelings from the people around you and you will regain back your hope in humanity for those who lost it. Then what you can do in order to prepare yourself for this, and I am seeing that card by you don't avoid conflicts, you should not avoid any, mis um, any clashes of ideas, you shouldn't avoid any battle that is coming in your way because through battles it is where you will find that passion to not being happy of where of where you are right now to want more and to leave the you know the the, the patience aside so it is basically for you Virgo the way I see it is that you're gonna lose your patience and through it you're gonna win way way more from it. After Virgo, we are going to Libra. Jesus, that hair. Good evening, Kristen. How are you? <laughs> oh my god, that will kill me. I mean, look at these two cards. These are the end cards. That's the first one. So. Okay, so with these three cards, again, however, this time, that card is, re is read here as an insecurity, as risks, as risky time, as time of, of, of time of not knowing where you are, you are standing, Libra, it is coming to an end. So you can expect from now on when the solar eclipse hits you to the environment around you to start becoming much more secure, to slow down the motion, to establish your path moving forward, and to give you a, a control over your own fate. So the insecurity, the dynamic routine, and the constant need to take on new additional chances is gonna be wiped away. Probably because you do have really, you will do have really something to cling on that will leave you with um, with enough security and enough satisfaction so you don't have these other options available, so-called, on your plate, which could speak fantastic new job, very stable new relationship, extraordinary relationship with one family, uh, new income, whatever. It is, it is, it is just, you know, I just can't even explain it, guys, with this card, because that card is, it's very dependable on a personal situation, but basically, you have to accept it that way. Um, the insecure, fast flow of time is going to end up for you, Libra, and, and you will regain back control on your life. And this is seen, thank you, Cecilia. Sorry, I had a trouble to read, your, to read your name. Anyway, so this is the brand new thing, the great thing that is, happen that is happening in your way, guys. In your way, guys. And again, what we talked about, it's, it, it gives you hope. It gives you freedom, it gives you love, it gives you support, it gives you everything, guys. This counts for Leo and, and Virgo as well. Basically, whatever it is new for you people, it gives you everything you need. It gives you new life. 
Uh, which card, Lauren? So, new life, new existence, you know, I, a new way to see things, new way to experience life itself, guys. It's just, I'm happy for you, really. I am happy for you guys. Then, how you can prepare yourself, again, uh, is the Five of Swords. And here, with because we do have this, the, the Eight of Wands first instead of the previous card. I don't remember the strength was the previous card. Anyway, here it seems that you need to take on a uh, unsolved problems, unsolved um, disputes that you have, especially with other people, because that card speaks for other people. I, um, and, and especially you need to take on to a dispute with people that they basically played you out, okay? You place your trust in them and they just abused your trust and uh, from, it, from it nothing came uh, nothing came around, you just feel miserable and probably, um, let's say probably that you're keeping a silence treatment right now but it has to come to an end, you have to step up for oneself even if you need to be rude, you have to be rude here. It is about, you have the power guys, here when that solar eclipse you will have the power, use it correctly, use it to free yourself and use it to start and embark on a, a brand new life, Libra. So now, we are having Scorpio, my king. I'm not exactly sure, Lauren, as an astrological representation. I mean, um, I gotta check out in the box. But uh, to be honest, I will lie to you if I tell you right now, because I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure what it, it meant. Because you know, guys, I'm strictly focused on tarot itself. Yes, I do know the astrological representation of the major arcana because. Through them, you can recreate any event that is happening in the sky. But the minor arcana, they do have an astrological representation as well. And as far as I spoke, spoke with a, an astrologer, all of their representations are transits. And, and the transits that reflect some karmic events that are going to happen. So it is, it is like this. So the Scorpio. Okay, so Scorpio, for you to an end comes the Four of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, are you feeling rich, guys? If you are feeling rich, then unfortunately this is coming to an end. However, in a more, when we look that card to a grand scheme of things, what is coming to an end, people, is existing patterns that you are following. What is coming to an end is you sitting in your comfort zone and sitting in one place, not doing anything about it because you are feeling secure. So you are about to drop off that guard you have toward the world. You are about to drop off your following other people and you're about to step off your comfort zone. That may initiate some turmoil, however. You may, uh, you may try insecure things, you may try things that are stupid for other people, or they could be stupid in general, but hey, they are going to be your things, okay? So, this is a, an end of, um, of old life in a term of uh, life in a shell. So, you're about to crawl out of the shell and, uh, you know, experience the world as the world is, Scorpio. Through that, some of you guys may end up very successful. Some of you may not end up very successful. But the thing is here, what is going to start for you guys? That card, in particular with the Four of Pentacles, it seems a mostly career change. It seems mostly career change. I will interpret them for a relationship, though I don't believe that this will be the case for you people. Uh, or for us, Scorpio. So, in, in your career, 
you will become much more harder outside. You will become much more um, secure in your own actions. So you will become much more responsible toward what you are doing and toward the, the deeds that you have as, a, as in an idea of that you are doing it, which means that you will take a very good balanced judgment for where you have to go, go and move forward. And this card really well describes us and shows that we will keep still our emotions under control here. And we will not allow them to dictate our actions. So in this solar eclipse for you, Scorpio, at least according to my cards, it seems that the, the shift is not going to be that major for you, okay? So either you have already invested and the change did happen for you, that the solar eclipse is marking or a major shift happened for you where uh, it is just, you know, from now on, you don't have anything else to invest because you have invested it before. Or it seems that you are so resilient to it that you basically refuse to do it. And with, if that's the case, with this card, we're seeing your desperate fight to postpone that change for whatever reason, Scorpio. Okay, so for those in relationship here, guys, it seems that you're going to open up. So the defensive position against one relationship, against one partner, ends up and you basically open up for them. You express all emotions you have and uh, you just stay naked in front of them, okay? So that will give you uh, advantage. I can say advantage, guys. It will give you advantage because at the end of the day, you at least will know what is going to happen with that relationship. And if they say, okay, I always know, uh, I will, uh, I mean, not always, but I as well was the world was the word that I was searching for. I would love you as well. Then fantastic, you got what you want, your relationship there. So what you can do to prepare yourself for whatever is coming, which will be not that major for you for what I see, because you either invested everything you had or you're just resilient to it. Just justice is guys. So here you need to set your things in law and order. Here you need to be accountable for yourself and again, take your decision based on the logic rather than the emotions. Also, it seems that uh, the universe itself is going to help you because the justice is one of these karmic cards and under karmic cards, I mean, it is something forced far in the past, you know, far in the past and has a, an, an echo right now or it is shaping just right now, like, I like to say, like a butterfly effect. But on top of that, you got to be fair with everything that you're dealing with, especially people, and this is what will prepare you for the change, so-called, that is coming for you. Or at least it's not going to give you a turmoil, Scorpio. Okay, after that. I, by the way, for Scorpio, if I say that your riches are going to come to an end, I didn't mean that you're going to be poor. I meant your stock up is going to come to an end. You stacking up piles of money is going to come to an end. And that could come into a variety of ways, and especially seeing the King of Cups there for what is new. It seems that it will end, you know, it will end in a way that you will give a very, you will make, not give, but you will make a very, very good investment with them. It could be buying a house, it could be buying a car, it could be investing in business, but whatever it is, it will be very balanced, it will be a very logical one, and it seems that it's going to give you benefits with the justice there. Yeah, I know, Judy, I know. This is because we are Scorpio, Judy. We get what we deserve, regardless. Or on top of that, something peculiar, I am number 11, the master number 11 as well, which is also justice. So I am doomed to get what I deserve. But it, it does suck because you can't rely on luck. For example, no matter how much lottery tickets I scratch, Nothing happens, guys. I don't win anything. I mean, even I don't win one dollar or five dollars or 
I don't know. It is because this is because of my of my number. With this number, you, you can't rely on luck. Also, the number eleven is about giving. It's about giving, not taking. So it's it. They have the uh, the fate of constantly giving and taking so little. But whatever you take, I mean, whatever it is given to you, number eleven. It will be very meaningful for you. You know how to cherish what is given to you, okay? And what makes sense to you. This is what I read in the books for number 11. Well, number 8, Judy, as well, is, uh, is reaching their, um, you know, their prosperity through hard work. But for number 8, it is much, much more easy than the vibration of number 8. Is about money. Is about building money. It's about stocking up money, and only money, money, money around. It's very material number, for what I know. So yeah, and especially if it comes into into a very primal form. For example, it's not formed from two from two uh, numbers before that, like 12, 26 and then you form eight. Or you know, but it's for example, you have. Three, two, and then you have again three. This is prime weight, and it, it is just the whole focus of that person. It's 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 money because this is what the star code is for him: money, money, material gains. Okay, so Sagittarius. Whoa, okay. So Sagittarius, what comes? Uh, 10 is not really a number, it's 1, Marilyn. 10 is not considered as, as, a, um, as a star code number. Star code is, an, is the number formed from your um, date of birth. Okay, so... Sagittarius, why is coming to your, to your end? That could play into a variety of ways, guys. That's the Nine of Cups. So, this card could mean that a um, sitting on a in a um, in a pleasure achievement that ends. But how the end can um, can can happen for you? For some, they could be stripped out of success. You know what I mean? They could suddenly lose what gives them happiness. For others, the ending could come through a realization that they need to constantly work for their more, more, you know, a grand happiness, if you want to say it that way. So it, it does depend very, very much to your personal situation. So how this could play out into your career? Let's say that into your career, a particular project may, may be taken off. From your uh, routine, there a project that you have counted on. This is the first version of uh, sitting on a, a pleasant place, a happy place, of a grand achievement. It is stripped away from you. The second way is if you are working on that project, but you realize that this project is very, very small for you. I mean, you can you can attend to something much bigger, and you leave it consciously. You leave it on your own free will. So you can give your efforts into something much more meaningful. It depends really on your personal situation. But whatever it is, guys, um, a time of preparations are about to start. Time of the time of preparations to finalize and to reach a, a certain closure with a, a big thing, with a thing that gives you troubles, with a thing that gives you burdens. It could be a closure with your uh, family relationship if your family is really give you give you burdens. It could be a closure with a particular field of career. Let's say that uh, if you are studying to be in a dentist, for example, but right now you can't find a job as a dentist because you don't have a specialization yet, and you are working as a seller into in, in a grocery store. This is coming to an end also in a certain way this is what i'm trying to tell you that it's a preparation for a big jump for something that will relieve you from your current burdens and it's gonna place you a new new burdens on your shoulders so whatever it is ending in your life into your relationship or into your career it seems that it's not going to be pleasant for you sagittarius very much but you will find 
how can I say, a drive to push it further, you will find a reason for yourself to start preparing for that brand new future that is coming in your way. That brand new future will be filled with a lot of activities. And most likely, with this nine of, uh, nine of wands, I think that most likely this is going to happen into your career, guys. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, uh, guys, can we, can we talk for the numbers uh, another time? I may create events about the numbers, but right now let's let's just see about the tarot cards. Really, <laughs> I, I shouldn't talk that much about the numbers. Anyway, so with with nine here, with nine here, with the nine of of ones here. This will be a preparation for you to start because you will really sense a particular threat upon your life, particular threat upon your career, and particular threat upon your relationship. An adversary, it is what you are going to sense. Someone, it, it, and you are going to sense it before before even it appears. Okay, so you are going to start taking measure for it, and you will catch, catch them unprepared. So this solar eclipse for you guys, the way I see it is going to bring you a victory. Victory, but this is not the particular word I was searching for. It's going to give you an edge upon over situations or people who does not want to see you succeed. Okay, But for their, um, for their disappointment, you will be able to. Because the way you will prepare is conquering your fears. You will understand that suffering you are experiencing, guys, and worries you have, they are all in vain. They are just all in vain. Because you can, you can put an end to all that. Okay? With determination of yourself, with seeking, even if you want to say it that way, a professional help into the fields you have these troubles, into the fields where this adversary is showing up. You can prevail if you conquer your fears and you realize that the suffering you're experiencing, it's, it's just needless. You, you, cannot, you cannot experience it. What I mean is that you don't have to experience it. And you got to put an end to it. But if you can't do it alone, then seek a, a qualified help. Okay, so after Sagittarius, guys, we are going to a Capricorns. But wow, really, this I, I I'm still thinking about Leo. My God, I think that I it was very good into the um, March readings I did, which will be released soon, people. Leo Virgo as well. It was very good reading there. And Libra also. And Scorpio, it, it was just wow, guys. Wow. Shame I don't have anything in those three. Or almost anything for as far as I know. Oops, one card fell down. So this is what comes to an end. Awesome. Awesome. Mm. Oh my God. Okay, okay, guys. Capricorns. <coughs> well, Emma, this is coming to an end. <laughs> <laughs> really, this is coming to an end. So, here what it is, guys. Even though the situation isn't pleasant right now, and you can't push it through, believing that the brighter future will come, the things will so on their own, well, guess not. Guess what? They aren't going to. And this is coming to an end, that unpleasant situation. So, you will consciously walk away 
from everything that makes you miserable without having any remorse or pity of guilt because you will realize that you are guilty for anything. Let's say that you are in one relationship that really gets into you. It, it, it just You can't live in it. But you are feeling guilty if you are going to abandon your partner. This is coming to an end, people. You will not feel any guilt either because you have been given a reason not to. Let's say that your partner cheated or they did really something stupid and they just gave you an, an excuse to feel no guilt in order to leave the relationship or in your career as well it is where the miserable situation of stagnation of that's nothing it is pushing forward nothing it is it, it, it's just nothing is involving there you know it's gonna end and with that being said most of you will realize that uh, they can be happy they can be really really happy in in the place they are right now and only thing they didn't um, they didn't knew about before I mean not knew about but I don't know how to structure this sentence I mean the only the only way missing back then was the feeling of being happy and so it is also a process of re-evaluation of what is going on around you Capricorns but as well it's um, it's a shifting of unpleasant situations into pleasant situations so if you again if your partner is giving you troubles if you're not walking away then the case is that they're going to change and or something will make them change just the fear that you can leave the relationship with no remorse is going to change them thus it will be not be it it will not be necessary for you for 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 you to leave either your job or your career but even if you got to leave it because if you do have to leave it, this is what is coming as a new thing here, and that could mean a new relationship also. But even if you have to leave it, you will be in peace with it. You know, if, even if you have to leave your job, your co worker, your partner, you will be in peace with it, knowing that this was the only thing that could have been done, the only right thing that could have been done. Then, <clears throat> what new will come in your life, guys? Page of Wands. That could be a young person, Sagittarius, Aries, or uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, or it has these ascendant signs. I, uh, kind of, this person kind of acts immaturely, and it, it doesn't take much of responsibility for the things around them. But this this person here, it is always open for experimentations. It is always open for anything new. He will never say you no. So if this is a, about a new relationship with that guy or with that woman, either way, they will never say you no know before they try it. So it will actually you will be able to experience one relationship just as you want to experience it, at least at the start. And you can see either it's going to work for you or it's not going to work for you. But I do have the feelings, guys, that this card is brand, brand new approach into the way you are earning money in Capricorns, a, a brand new approach. Sounded ideas that was seeming very stupid, very unproductive, um, because this is what the page of forms is all about. It's, it's about these ideas which no one wants to listen, but they, they, they do have prosperity, they, they do have an outlook further in the future. They, they can bring you money, guys. They just can't bring you money if the money is what you're going for. They can't bring you happiness if happiness is what you're going for. They can't bring you a new relationship. They can bring you everything you want only if you listen to that lonely voice into the desert. So if you do jump into a new idea of yours that is outside, outside of uh, already what you have convinced yourself in, I mean, uh, outside of the patterns you are following, give it so, give it a chance. You don't know if it's gonna work. Eventually, something is gonna work fantastically for you, and there you will be reminded for your own strength, for your own capability to make something happen around you. For you will be reminded how much things depend on you, but only if you are willing 
to try, guys. Only if you are willing to try. Not if you are staying in the same place will serve you any worse. However, the the advance furthermore, the personal development, it doesn't seem that is going to be. Um, with, it's not going to happen such faster as it uh, as it is if you are going if you are going to listen to those lonely voices into the desert. So. What you can do, Capricorns, in order to prepare yourself, the King of Wands. So, the King of Wands, guys. Sorry, I was distracted with a uh, comment. You got to be positive about everything that is coming in your way. And as we spoke about ideas, you need to try to give a, a chance to those ideas and try to transform it, in, uh, transform them into actions. But above everything else, guys, uh, you need to show um, a person with authority and what one person with authority does as the king of wands is a leader. Not a boss, but a leader. Leader gives example first and then asks others to follow it rather than to just say, rather, rather just to tell, you do this and the person does it. I'm talking about those who are owning private businesses or are in charge in something, but in, in general this card shows that you need to start using more your brain than your, um, than your physical efforts and jumping from here and there. So as said brain guys, really give, again it will be imperative looking at these cards to give a chance, to really give a chance of the immaturity of the situation and the immaturity of the ideas that are given to you by your subconscious, by your sub, by your conscious, or by someone else, and this will force the big newness into your life, really. But on top of that, the unpleasant, uh, the unpleasant situations in your life are coming to an end, guys. The disappointment and the, the situations where the things are not going in your way, this, this is coming to an end, one way or another. So now, we are going to Aquarius. For your queries, what comes to an end? The devil. Misusing power over you. Uh, being trapped into those, um, into those circumstances that were really, really not forced by you. Uh, you being relief, relieved from a particular choices that you had to make, but neither of them was right. Okay, You, you had to choose the one, uh, the less, the the less evil, is, is that the, the way it's said? Yeah, the minor evil, sorry. You you will have to choose the minor evil. evil. This is what you're going to be relieved from, from. So these situations are going to end in your life. Also, if you're talking about your career, the aggression from the people standing above you is going to end. The exploitation that they're placing upon your shoulders, it's about to end. The aggressiveness into your relationship is also about, about to end. With this, guys, the intensity of the sexual TV activity also will lower, but it doesn't mean that it's going to end. But in, in, um, in the grand scheme of things, guys, it, your slavery is going to end. So you will be free now when the solar eclipse hits you, Aquarius. And then you will have the Seven of Wands. And in this case, that card will be what is coming for you. It's going to test you. So you are just, take it like this. You are just a newborn. You just walked 
in this world. So that freedom here, people, it will be a huge, huge thing. It could be one who breaks chains with their family, with the support of their family, just so the one can become independent. And this is the struggle here, the new, the new beginning. And it's not really a struggle, but it's like a test and you, uh, you will be tested either uh, outwardly or inwardly. However, your reactions are going to be tested here with that change, guys. So if the change happens into your career, probably the way I see it is your boss says, fine, do what you want to do. It's just you, you, you do it. You know, you, you, you get this thing done. And because the influence of your boss is no longer upon your shoulders, you have to take the full responsibilities of your actions. So one thing goes away, another comes. This is what I try to tell you. What will, what will be the new thing that is come? Additional responsibility for grounding, for uh, grounding, um, defending and um, guarding was the word I was searching for. Your estate, your personal achievements, your home, or if you want to say it that way, your comfort zone. So a aggression, it is going to come in your way, but from, an, from a different uh, directions from the unexplored world. So it seems that you're going to throw yourself into pretty deep waters here once you have a taste of that freedom. Some of you may become very cocky. Some of you may go quite further uh, of oneself. I, they, they, could, they could surpass their capabilities in a way that they may start making wrong mistake, uh, big mistakes there because they have no clue what they're doing. And it will be here very important people to try to stay in one place instead of uh, because you had your freedom now and you believe too much in, your, in yourself and you jump into something unprepared. So how you can prepare yourself? I'm sorry guys, something is happening into my eye. It's itching. Ah, damn it. So how you can prepare yourself? With the nine of with the nine of wands is because the nine of wands says preparations. <laughs> that's that's very stupid. So this, <laughs> the position says how you can prepare the nine of wands represents preparations. And uh, but if, with another point of view, guys, the nine of wands says that you need to clinch on your previous experience and where you have really had troubles, where you have just won a situation by a, a long shot in a term of that you have just barely made it. From there you have to drag your experience and analyze your current situations with the situations from the past and do exactly what you have done there so you can prevail and persevere. But this card is a, a warning for a big storm that is coming and if you take your time again to prepare for that big storm, the storm itself will not be able to ruin anything of, uh, of yourself whatsoever. So for your queries, personal freedom, I hope this is what you want it for. Or should I say, if you wanted it, I would rather advise you to be very careful what you wish for. Because the freedom comes with price, guys, and now it, it turns out that the responsibilities which was not on your shoulders are going to fall on your shoulders with their full uh, weight. And can you bear them is the question. So before you ask for your freedom Aquarius, think of can you take responsibilities for your actions. And last but not least guys, Pisces. It seems that it is all about relationships for you, Pisces. It seems that it is all about relationships. Though I will interpret them in case it is happening into your career, guys. So, Four of Pentacles is where the change will happen. So, you will become much more open 
to others you will become much more open to experiment you will become um, the old concepts again as we said before uh, they are going to drop off uh, your uh, your plan they, will, they are going to drop off your understanding of how one thing has to be done or on how the life itself has to be led so if we're talking about your career that could be a, a tenacious drive toward one wanting more from one from one career so in the term of that you will not being satisfied of your comfort anymore you will want a, a bigger comfort you will want a, a bigger gains this is what I'm trying to say but to get the bigger gains you need to do something you need to step up you need to risk something so again it is dropping off your um, defensive position against the world as um, as general and it is about you spending resources uh, so this is where the end comes you conserving resources ends and you start spending them and investing them in oneself so you can have um, so you can have a uh, more gains furthermore and um, what is gonna come the new thing that is gonna come that's a, a queen of cups guys so if this is a person and strictly uh, takes place into your career this is a woman that will present you with just enough opportunities in order to get what you want in term of that she isn't a reasonable person she can value other people's um, other people's effort and just her heart her emotions aren't letting her to exploit you or to not give you what you do deserve so whatever you claim that you can do she will give you a chance to do it so so be mindful for that woman if it comes if it comes to your career if it is not a war or if it comes to your relationship and you found another woman to be in relationship with or this could be even a man guys it, uh, and girls it could be even a man but if if the queen comes as a man then the man is much more feminine feminine representative which means that they do take care of their outer look like using makeup and these kind of stuff you know what I mean they are much more romantic romantic than, than usual and um, these kind of stuff so if this is not a person people then this card tells only one thing follow the feelings of your heart people when this defense, defensiveness here falls when you are finally, finally ready to make the first step towards your progress. Follow the feelings of your heart, guys. By you doing so, you will find yourself nourished and transformed. Nothing more to be said with this combination. Uh, more specifically, people, this card for career speaks that you have to start doing plans and this kind of stuff. But uh, what I can advise you is just it depends how you feel the situation you should act based upon your feelings you know this is the the biggest advice this is the impression the card gives to me and I'm giving to you same goes for your relationship if you are ready to make a, a new commitment just follow your heart people and you will not make a mistake with it so how you can prepare for that not much preparation for you Pisces really because it does seem that the opportunity will present itself to you. Only thing you have to be prepared for is to catch it, which means that you have to seriously start considering taking off your guard right now. Right now, what I mean, while you're watching this reading, you already have to make up on your mind to just try it out. You know, try, try to be more open, try to ask for more, and try to invest more because one very important person for me once told me you gotta spend money to earn money because everything what comes around goes around so you have to invest in order to gain that's the thing guys that's the thing so <clears throat> oh okay so Teresa, for you, I, I, again, general reading, that's a problem for the general reading, it's way too general, so I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to cover the most common field, you know, Teresa, but as you are disabled, these cards 
like give me give me a second here. If you do have uh, someone an, an assistant, this is a change of your assistant, and the new assistant will be much more warmer, much more care, yeah, it's a much more care, uh, care free. So I mean, someone who puts it put as much more care for you, and it will give you so much support. It will be less expensive than the previous one, and basically, it will grant you a, a big comfort. You know. Um, if you don't have an assistant, it seems that um, you will have one. Okay, so as we said, guys, two or three cards is what I'm going to pull answering to two or three questions. So, with that being said, people, go on and ask your questions as the time finally has come. So, yeah, Lori. You ask a card, I will. Laurie, for you we got the High Priestess, I don't know in which field this card is going to go, but if we're talking about your relationship, it does seem that um, you will initiate even stronger soul bond with this card. If we're talking about your career, nothing is going to change there, you will just stay in the same place for the duration of this card is taking place. But on top, but, um, Generally, with this card, Laurie, it seems that your intuition will be um, much more keen, and you will suddenly start making. Um, you will suddenly start to explain yourself how the things work, and you will become um, with much greater understanding toward a, a human nature. So, let's see one more, guys. I will try to pick up someone that I haven't pick, pick, picked up before. Um, Okay, I don't think that I have picked up Riven T. Allen. So, for you, Riven, you got the Two of Wands. With the Two of Wands, you are about to give yourself, or not give yourself, let's say that this, this is with the Two of Wands. You will reach a grand achievement, a grand achievements, okay? But with these grand achievements, you won't be satisfied. So you will want more, and you will go for more. And you will place your skills in a test. You will expand your skills, and you will expand your knowledge. You will conquer new fields. And with that being said, this you will find yourself very busy in the upcoming months. And um, you will find... Eventually, you will find yourself into a better place, into one career, and into one relationship. But um, what I can advise you with this card is to want what you want now. Do not wait. You just want it now. And don't be afraid to jump into conflicts for it. Because one, one thing belongs non, not to the one who owns it, but to the one who takes it. So be the one who takes what one wants. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. This was the Taroscope and the live event for the solar for the new moon solar eclipse, excuse me, in Pisces. And I hope that uh, it does it did help you people. So if you do find it helpful and you do want to support me guys, please take a moment and uh, like and share the post and the video. Uh, with that being said, people, you're awesome. Um, I I didn't believe that I will have so much support, but I do, and this is this is really awesome. You you just keep it going, guys. It really gives me hope to make to make that thing work, you know, to to continue giving you these readings and these kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm now jumping into my bed, people, because I'm quite tired. And I'll uh, see you people probably tomorrow or the day after. We will see. And you have to take care now. You you.
You have a great one, and see you guys next time. Bye.